from black holes and quantum mechanics to the mysteries of gravity, humanity is reaching for answers to some of the biggest questions in the universe. But while scientists are exploring the edges of physics, there are still people debating one of the oldest questions of all, is the Earth flat? In 2024, a group of flat earthers traveled to Antarctica for what they dramatically called the final experiment. Their mission? To prove once and for all that the Earth is flat. But what actually happened on this trip may surprise you. Let's rewind for a moment. Flat Earth theories aren't new. From attempts to sail to the so-called edge of the world, to simple experiments with flashlights and cameras, these ideas have persisted despite overwhelming scientific evidence. The reality is, proving Earth is round is surprisingly easy. From space photographs to the way shadows fall, the evidence is everywhere. Yet, for some, none of that is enough. In December 2024, Pastor Will Duffy from Colorado led a group of flat earthers on a three-year planned mission to Antarctica. His goal was bold, to end the debate over the shape of the Earth once and for all. Duffy's challenge was simple. If the sun could not be seen for 24 hours straight in Antarctica, he would admit Earth is flat. If it could, the evidence for a spherical Earth would be undeniable. One of the strongest pieces of evidence that Earth is round is the Antarctic Midnight Sunday. During the Southern Hemisphere's summer, the sun never sets. It circles the sky for 24 hours a day. For flat Earth models, this phenomenon is impossible. And yet, that's exactly what the group saw. To their credit, some flat earthers admitted they had been wrong. Jaron Campanella, a well-known figure in the community, said, I honestly believe there was number 24-hour Sunday. I honestly now believe there is. But not everyone was convinced. Another flat earther, Austin Witsit, claimed he had seen a physical demonstration that could explain it differently and suggested that new data from the trip might still fit into their flat earth worldview. So, did the final experiment settle the debate? Not quite. Even when faced with undeniable evidence, belief systems don't change overnight. The trip showed the midnight sun was real, but for many flat earthers, the earth being round is still up for debate. Perhaps the real lesson here isn't about the shape of our planet, but about how hard it is for people to let go of deeply held beliefs. The Earth is round. We've known that for centuries. The question now is, how much evidence will it take before everyone accepts it? 